Hello, and welcome to Roll With The Punches, the RPG boxing stream where we train our body and mind to better cope with the blows life sends our way. We use an RPG-style reward system that keeps us motivated in order to develop the healthy habits that will serve us for the rest of our lives. Roll With The Punches has four main objectives. Use rewards to build healthy habits. Lower stress with exercise and by practicing mindfulness. Increase confidence and a sense of self-worth by focusing on positivity utilizing a support group to help us when we need it. Today's stream is focused on lowering our stress levels with exercise, specifically boxing. Boxing is a total body cardio workout. I'll go into more details about the workout in a second, but if a boxing workout sounds intimidating, don't worry. I've structured the workout into three levels of difficulty. Don't feel bad about going at a slow pace if you're just starting out. I'll circle back to the details for the workout, along with a little tutorial in a second, but for now, let's check out those objectives. First is creating some sort of a reward system for yourself to push you to do the things that you should do but can't find the motivation for. At a very basic level, I recommend giving yourself around one experience point for every minute you spend on something that has a positive impact on your life. For every 1000 XP, give yourself a little reward. You can learn more in the Roll With The Punches campaign journal I put together. Check out the free PDF after today's stream. Next, we want to look at managing stress by practicing mindfulness. The good news is, today's boxing workout will be a good starting point for this. A boxing round is a sequence of being tensed and relaxed. Because of that, I found that the skill of relaxing myself in stressful situations has carried over outside the ring as well. And also, once again, make sure you check out the free campaign journal for even more ideas. The third objective is to increase our confidence and a sense of self-worth by focusing on positivity. In my experience, I've found that combat sports like boxing, as well as martial arts like karate, have helped me to become more confident and feel better about myself. The process of pushing through my limits and getting stronger makes me feel like I can handle anything life throws at me. You need to be your own cheering section, but I'll also do my best in these streams to let you know how awesome you are for taking on such a tremendous challenge. You've already done amazingly just by committing to showing up and being ready to work. We can't fail today. We can only hit our limit, and that will only make us stronger going forward. The fourth objective is to build and use a support group to help us when we need it. An adventurer doesn't battle dragons alone. They need a party. Luckily for us, we've got one right here. You've got me and everyone else in chat encouraging you. Off stream, please head over to discord.gg slash blindwave to the Roll With The Punches channel to talk together. Reach out to your family and friends to help you when you're feeling low. And talk to your doctor and therapist, especially if you think you might be suffering from anxiety, depression, or any other mental illness. We've got to recuperate our mind as much as our body. I'm not a doctor, a therapist, or an expert boxing trainer, but I have all three of those in my adventuring party. While I'm happy to share what I've learned, these workouts are more about accountability and motivation as opposed to training you to be the next world champion. Please make sure you speak with your doctor if you have any concerns about starting a workout routine. While the Roll With The Punches system has helped me, it isn't a replacement for expert advice and treatment, so please seek help when you need it. All right, now that I've defined the goals of Roll With The Punches, Let's learn about what you can expect from today's stream, as well as how to punch with a tutorial. First, you don't need any special equipment to follow along with today's workout. You only really need the following to get started. Comfortable workout clothes, socks, and shoes. The flatter the shoe, the better. Water or a sports drink. A towel. An open space, at least enough to take four small steps in each direction, and then to punch without hitting anything. And a fighting spirit. Here's some optional equipment you may want to consider. A heavy bag. You can do all these workouts shadow boxing without a heavy bag, but a bag will help you build power. Plus, it just feels satisfying to hit something. Make sure you take it easy starting out, and note that if you are hitting a bag, the next two items become required. Hand wraps and boxing gloves. Wrapping your hands will protect them, as well as your wrists if you're hitting the bag. You should wear gloves hitting the heavy bag, and you can wear them shadow boxing if you want to make the rounds harder. If you don't have gloves but want to push yourself, you can hold hand weights, no more than a pound. Just make sure they don't slip. A yoga mat. We do some ab exercises and possibly some other exercises down on the ground. A yoga mat will make these more comfortable, but you can use a towel if you're in a pinch. Jump rope and jump rope pad. I'll show you other exercises that you can do instead of jump roping, but jumping rope is a great workout and it will help your boxing in a number of ways. Okay, let's talk about the workout. Make sure you pace yourself. Go easy, 
especially if you're new to boxing or exercise in general. You can always up the volume and intensity as you get more experienced. Don't feel the need to follow my pace. You can go slower or you can go faster. Boxing rounds are broken up into difficulty levels. Level one is the easiest, with level three being the most difficult. Here's the breakdown. If you're following along at level one, you will have one minute of work time, followed by one minute off, repeated. Just follow along with my instructions, when to start and stop, and you'll be fine. Take two to four breaths between each combo at least. Level two, you have two minutes on and two minutes off. Level three works the full three minute round and has a one minute rest between rounds. The volume and speed in which you throw the punches, plus head movement and footwork will all determine how hard of a workout each round is. Start off easy, but challenge yourself as you find out what your limit is. Now that we're properly equipped and you know what to expect, let's start the tutorial. Please note that this is a very brief overview of these techniques. I'm just going over enough so that you can follow along with the workout. You can find a lot of other videos on YouTube that cover the techniques in more detail. Feel free to ask questions during the stream too. Also, there isn't a perfect way to do these techniques that work for everybody. You may need to adjust things slightly to make them work for you. In this intro, I'll be covering the basic boxing stance, breathing, and the two basic punches. Let's start with the boxing stance. This is the foundation that we'll be building everything off from, so it's the most important of the three. To get into a basic boxing stance, Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Now take your dominant foot and step back. You'll know you're at about the right position if you take a knee and your knee reaches the heel of your front foot. And there's about a fist worth of space between your knee and heel. You might need to adjust this a little. Go ahead and stand back up. Now we need to turn our body slightly inwards. To do this, we rotate our back foot somewhere between 45 and 90 degrees outward. We then can rotate our front foot slightly up to 45 degrees. You can check that you're in the right position by moving your back foot in a straight line up to your front toe. Our back heel should line up with our front toe. Now we want to bend our knees a few inches. This will help us be balanced in a variety of positions and help us be able to move quickly. It's also great for working out the legs. We want our weight to be evenly dispersed between our front and back legs. Your weight should be on the balls of your feet. Your back heel should be slightly off the ground. Your front heel can be elevated or planted, but the weight should still be forwards on the ball of the foot. Great job. Now we're in our boxing stance. I know it's a lot to take in, so let's do it again. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Take a step backwards with your dominant foot. Imagine a line between your legs and make sure that each foot is on either side, like you're taking a stride. Turn your feet in so that your back heel and front toes are touching that imaginary line. Bend your knees. Lift your back heel. Make sure your weight is even across both legs and on the balls of your feet. Okay, now let's try to move in this stance. To move in a direction, we will shift our weight to the opposite foot before taking a step. Let's try moving forward. Shift your weight to your back leg and take a step with your front foot. Good. Now shift your weight to your front leg and step that back foot up the same distance, making sure to keep your knees bent and your stance at a proper width. Weight should be on the balls of your feet. Kneel to check your stance. Okay, let's start again and take four steps forward. Weight on the back foot, stepping with the front. One, two, three, four, good. Now let's step backwards. Shift your weight to your front leg. Now step back with your back foot. Shift the weight again to the back leg and step the front foot back the same distance. Kneel to check your stance. Good. Let's get back up into our stance and step backwards four times. One, two, three, four. Left and right are similar. To move left, we will put our weight on our right leg and step with the left. Now let's take four steps. One, two, three, four. Remember, knees bent, weight on the balls of the feet. 
and it becomes equally distributed between both legs once we've finished our step. Now let's go to the right. Wait on the left leg and step to the right. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. Now let's go back to center and try it all together. Forward, one, two, three, four. Back, one, two, three, four. Left, one, two, three, four. And right, one, two, three, four. Good job. Now that our lower body is in the right position, we need to work on our upper body. We bring our hands up to about the corners of our mouth, making sure our elbows are tucked in. I like to leave my hands here, but a more traditional position for your hands would be to take your rear hand in front of your face about a thumb's width away. From there, your lead hand is an outspread hand's width from your rear hand. Make sure you're not blocking your vision, but are protecting your face. Also, make sure to keep that chin tucked downwards. Okay, great. We have learned the basic boxing stance. There's a lot of variations and other more advanced techniques that we will be getting into during other streams, but this is good enough for today. It'll get us started. So now let's get into the punches. The jab, or as I will call it, the number one, will be the punch that we are throwing the most. It travels straight towards our opponent while twisting inward. We're also going to practice throwing it with a step. This is what it will look like slowly and with speed now let's go over it step by step get into your boxing stance make sure your knees are bent chin down hands up but be relaxed don't tense your shoulders or clench your fists now slowly and while relaxed bring your lead hand straight forward at a height where your opponent's jaw would be as the jab extends it is rotating inward be careful your elbow doesn't flare out you can check yourself by throwing this with your front shoulder touching a wall or a punching bag. The punch should travel straight through a pipe with no part of the fist or arm hitting the pipe side. Your hand should be relaxed for as long as possible. We only clench our fist before impact. Make sure your thumb is outside your fist. We're impacting with our first two knuckles. Pull out some finger guns so we can check our wrist alignment. Where your fingers are pointing is where the power is driving. We want to make sure our wrist is straight. Stick your guns away and now bring the punch straight back so that your hands are back in your guard. Make sure your hands are relaxed on the way back in. All right, let's try it. Drive your front hand forward. Once you get to this point, start the rotation. Clench your fist before impact. Now that we're extended, check your wrist alignment. Okay, now bring it back. Great. Let's try that four times. One, two, three, four. Now let's add a little speed and power to it with the help of a step. This time as we throw the jab, put your weight on your back foot and step with the front as you throw the jab. Your foot should come down as the punch impacts. Then as you're bringing the punch back, step back with your front foot back into its original position into your boxing stance. Let's try that again. Okay, good. Now four times. One, two, three, four. Great job. That's the basics of the jab. Before we move on to the next punch, let's learn how to breathe with our punches. Whether you're breathing correctly with your punches will make the biggest difference in your exhaustion level for today's workout. Hold your breath and you'll be winded before the first round is over. Let's stand relaxed while we're learning the basics of breathing. We are usually breathing in and out with our nose. Deep, controlled, relaxed breaths when possible. When we need to punch, we can breathe out with the nose or out with the mouth, constricting and controlling our airflow. We want to constrict our throat and use our tongue pressed against the roof of our mouth to create a small opening for the breath to escape and a quick way to stop the airflow. It will sound like this. It's one short exhalation per punch, normally. After the combo is over, breathe in with your nose and be ready for the next combo. Let's try it with the jab. In your stance. Let's do it 
do it four times with our step and a breath. That may feel awkward, but you'll get it with time. From here on out, we're always going to be breathing with our punches. Finally, let's move on to the straight rear punch, our number two. There's a lot of carryover in technique from the jab. Our rear hand is moving straight forward, relaxed, and twisting. Once it reaches its target, check your wrist alignment, and then bring it back. Now the big difference is going to come from how we put speed and power into this punch. We need to get our hips and shoulders involved in driving the punch forward. Let's start with the feet. In our boxing stance, take your rear foot and drive it inwards. Imagine you're squishing a bug into the ground. This is the motion that will then drive our hip inwards. As our hips turn, your shoulders come with it. And all of this is driving that rear hand straight into our target. Let's try it again. Turn the rear foot, which turns the hips, which turns the shoulders, which drives the punch straight forward. Bring the punch back straight and set that rear foot back into your normal boxing stance. Let's try it four times. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Check it out and relax. All right, great job, everyone. You've now got everything you need to get started and to follow along with today's workout. Remember, if you need more information, check out that free campaign journal PDF, as well as feel free to ask questions in the chat. Okay, let's start to roll with the punches. Hello everyone, I think we're live. Welcome to Roll With The Punches, the role-playing game inspired wellness channel. Today is a boxing stream, but this channel is gonna cover a lot more than that. Mental health, wellness, mindfulness exercises, all kind of stuff. But today is boxing, the very, very basics of boxing. So if you've never done any boxing before, if you're not, um, if you haven't been exercising, this is a perfect place to start for you. But because I have it structured in three different levels, uh, if you are a little more fit, it can still be a challenge for you. And I'm gonna show you a few more advanced things as well. But I started boxing around 18 months ago. Uh, before that, I did karate. And I wanted to start something new. Uh, I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, then the lockdown happened, and I didn't feel like I could do that very well without an opponent. So I started to teach myself boxing online. So 18 months later, here I am. Now this channel is just starting out, so there's not a lot of content here yet. It's gonna grow. I hope you subscribe and support the channel as it does. But if you just can't wait and you need some more boxing stuff, uh, down in the future channels below, I've linked a YouTube channel called Precision Striking. Uh, Jason over there has been my virtual coach for about a year, and he does a lot of really great stuff. So if you're just chomping at the bit and you can't wait for me to catch up, uh, to get more videos out, there's videos over there. So today we're going to do an entire workout. Uh, boxing is a full body workout. We're going to have a warm up. We're going to do a bit of an instructional. We're going to go through some drills. We're going to do what's called a critical hit section, which is high intensity interval training. Really get our heart rate up. Abs after that, and then we're going to cool down. So that is how it's gonna go. I'm only in your left ear. Ooh. Is that true for everyone? I think I can fix that, if it is. Or is that just you? There, is that better? How's everyone doing today? I hope you watched the instructional tutorial starting out. I'm gonna go slow, I'm gonna cover things, but that gives you the basics. Cool, okay, yes, good stuff. Oh. So today the main focus is going to be relaxation. And I know that sounds kind of weird, like a workout stream that focuses on relaxation, 
But the main goal, since we're starting something new today, is to be able to get through the entire workout. I don't want you gassing out after the first round and not being able to do the techniques because the more that we are able to do the techniques, the better we get at them. And if we're gassing out after one round and we're done, we're not going to improve very much. So I love the anime Hajime no Ippo. Uh, it's a boxing anime and it actually kind of teaches this idea uh, pretty well. The idea where you are relaxed most of the time. So when you're in your stance, your legs are engaged, your knees are bent, especially if you're in close range. But my hands are open, I'm not tensed like this. A lot of beginners think that by tensing and by throwing punches at full tension is where the power comes from. But the power really comes from speed. And a good way to get that is by having our hands open and relaxed. And we only close them at the last moment. And in Hajime no Ippo, he has to catch leaves falling out of the air. And you can think of it that way, to where we're open until the end, and then we make our fists, right? And that's going to give us a lot more speed. If I do it tense like this, I can go at that speed. If I go loose, I can go much faster and deliver much more power. And we're not going to gas ourselves. So that is the basic idea. All right. Let's go ahead and get things started with the warm-up. Uh, I'm going to start music. Got to come over here. Let me know if the volume levels are okay. You can still hear me over the music and hopefully you can hear the music as well. I'm going to turn it down on my end a little bit. How are we doing? Oh yeah, and occasionally I'll have that 10, plus 10 XP marker uh, up here, down below. So you can go to rollpunches.com and get the campaign journal where you can keep track of XP. Uh, it's good for motivation, it's good for keeping your goals. I know tomorrow's the new year and like resolutions, a lot of people have trouble sticking with them. So I found that this XP idea, which you can read about more in the journal, helps. It's completely free. Just go to rollpunches.com, download it, check it out. All right, let's go ahead and start the warm up. I've already done some boxing before this, so I'm ready to go, but I'm gonna settle back down and do this warm up. Turn the music down just a smidge because I can't really turn my voice up. I can try to talk louder though. All right, so first we're gonna warm up our neck. We gotta warm up the whole body because it's a boxing is a full body exercise. So for the neck, what I do first is I just look up like this, engage these muscles here. I'm starting my deep breathing now. And then we're gonna look down, feeling that stretch. We're gonna repeat that a few times, looking up. And looking down, looking up, feeling that stretch, looking down. Last times, looking up, and looking down. Okay, good. Now we're gonna look to the left, feel that stretch, look to the right, feel the stretch, breathing, look to the left, look to the right, oh, it cracked, <laughs> look to the left, and look to the right. Awesome job. All right, we're going to do half circles now, looking down and then rolling up and stopping here and then rolling back down. And then we repeat on the other side. Okay. So around, back, around, back, 
around, back, around, and back. Awesome. All right, next we're gonna get blood into our hands. We're gonna warm up our shoulders. We're going to do, um, I call them arm swings. If there are proper names for these, if you're watching this later, you're watching it now, put comments and let me know. Uh, but it's just an arm swing like this around, right? If you are just starting out, just go slow and feel the stretch. Every rep is twice around. So we're gonna start with the right hand. We're gonna go around one, two. You can really feel the stretch. When I do it, I put speed into it like this. But until you know that your body can handle something like that, just go slow and really feel the stretch, okay? So every time I say go, that's two circles around, right, going forward. All right, let's do it. Go. I'm already practicing my breathing with my movements. That's two, three, four, five, and you can stand like this as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Left arm, same thing. One, two, remember you don't have to follow my pace. Three, four, do what works for you. Five, Six, seven, you're doing great, you got this. Eight, nine, ten, good. Now right arm, same thing, but a backwards motion, all right? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't forget to breathe. Left, going backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get those shoulders loose. Seven, eight, nine. 10, awesome, shake it out. Whew. All right, we're gonna do both arms going forward now. Remember, take it slow if it's your first time. Two rotations per rep. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing. Yes, this will be a VOD. It will be available afterwards. Uh, if you want to improve, I would recommend doing this or another workout at least once more in a week. I'm going to be here every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. But doing it once a week, you're not going to make the improvement that you want. You can watch it again, follow along. There's going to be more stuff coming all the time. All right, so now both arms backwards, and then we're done with this exercise. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Okay. Oh. Next, we are gonna continue on the shoulders here. Uh, this is a good warm up. This is also just a good in exercise for shoulder endurance. If you do this like 20, 50 reps, it's good stuff. Oh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our arms about shoulder level. We're gonna do elbows backwards hitting someone behind you and go slow if it's your first time just feel the stretch but I'm gonna do more of a strike back like this and then arms spread back on the second one so it goes 
I'm gonna do it slow, sorry. Two, and that's one rep, okay? All right, we're gonna do that 10 times. Ready? Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, you got this, eight, nine, ten, awesome, check it out, starting to get that heart rate up, next one, we're going to hug ourselves. Out wide like this, wrap around, I'll try not to hit my mic, and you give yourself a nice big hug. And then back out. Okay, we're gonna do that 10 times. One, two, three, four. Let me slow it down. Five, beginners, beginners. Six. I know it's challenging. Eight, nine, ten. Good. I know it's challenging. We're not going to get everything perfect today. I don't think practice makes perfect. I think practice is perfect. I think the art of just improving yourself incrementally over time, that's what it's about. So you're not going to get everything right today, and that's more than okay. You're putting in the effort, and that's what matters. All right, next one is one of my favorites. We stand shoulder width apart, feet facing forward. We're gonna start with the right side and we're gonna twist at the hips like we're throwing an elbow to the left, like this. And then on the second motion, you reach like this, giving a nice good stretch. And again, this is your first time Take the movement slow and do it as a reach. I'm gonna do it more as a strike, okay? Let's go, right side. Elbow, reach. Elbow, reach. Make sure you're breathing. Elbow, reach, that's three. Elbow, reach. Elbow, reach, five. Notice my hand outstretched, everything is relaxed and loose here. Elbow, reach, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go at your own pace. All right, while we're here, we're going to do the left now. We all got ten more XP. We're doing a great job. Left side, left elbow, left reach. Left elbow, left reach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, ten, good, shake it out. We're gonna start working on the lower body now. Go ahead and get a drink if you need it. Shake out the legs, shake out the arms. Take some deep breaths, breathe in with your nose. Out with your nose or out with your mouth. Ah, you're doing great. Try to stick with me to the end, okay? Even if you're just standing up. All right, next is gonna be hip rotations. So we stand, feet forward, shoulder width apart. We just take our hips in a circle as wide as they can go. Do that 10 times. Feel the stretch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good. Now other way. Reverse the direction. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
and tin. Awesome. Now for another one of my favorites. Same idea, but instead of the hips, we do the upper body. This feels great for my upper back. I get a lot of tension in my upper back and my shoulders. This feels amazing. But take it slow and uh, try not to get dizzy. If you feel like you're getting dizzy, stop. So shoulder width apart. And we take the upper body, and I call this the, uh, the fatality. Because like in Mortal Kombat, you kind of look like a character before they get the fatality on them, right? Like this. Oh. Do big circles if you can. If not, do smaller circles. I'm just swinging for one of my favorites. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All the way around. One. And take a second if you feel dizzy. Two. Some people do. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. If there's something you feel like you can't do, just move. Try to keep your heart rate up. Do what you can, okay? Oh. Feel better already. Don't want to miss anything. Next, all right, next are my least favorite. I call them alternating toe touches. You go in a wide stance, feet going forward, bend at the hips, and you just touch the opposite toe, or leg, or however far you can reach, or the floor, if you're feeling fancy. We're gonna do that 10 times, we're gonna come back up, do it 10 more times, okay? Let's try it, go! One, two, three, four. This is my least favorite, which means I need to do it the most. Which is why I always do it twice. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up. Take some deep breaths. We're gonna do it one more time. We got this. Go. Two. Three, four, I have a lot of tightness in my Achilles, so I have to stretch that out extra. Eight, I think, nine, and 10, come up, and come up. Okay, if you can't do it, do what you can. You can lay on the floor, stretch this way, uh, to get some stretch. You can hold on to a wall, Try to do one of these. All right, last bit of the warm up. We're just gonna try to do some butt kicks. If you can't do that, maybe do some jumping jacks. If you can't do that, just move, okay? We're gonna do um, 20 reps, 10 each side. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, awesome job, kick it out. Whew, we have done the warm up. awesome job, congratulations. For me, in order to build a habit, I have to do things every day. You shouldn't necessarily be going, especially if you're starting out 100% every day with a new exercise routine, but maybe just do the warm-up every day. Get into that habit. And if it feels hard, if it feels like you don't want to do it, one trick that I do is I take it one step at a time. I just tell myself, okay, all I need to do is get dressed in my workout clothes. If that's all I do today, that's enough. And once I've done that, I'm like, okay, all I need to do is go to the place that I work out. And that's all I need to do. I don't need to do anything when I get there. I just need to get there. And then when I get there, I'm like, okay, just do the warm up. And you just keep going like that. And I find it's a lot easier uh, because you're not having that insurmountable goal. Like it's not a scary goal. It's a lot of manageable sub goals in order to get there. So it's a trick that helps, helps me. Maybe it'll help you too. 
All right, I'm gonna get a drink. You get a drink too. All right, we talked about being relaxed a little bit already. But we're gonna be very focused on our breathing today. Every single movement is gonna be a breath. If we're not punching, we try to breathe with just our nose. In boxing, you wanna keep your mouth closed as much as possible. You don't wanna open and you don't wanna get hit in the chin. Some nice big breaths. If, as we're going through these workouts, uh, you start to feel like you can't catch your breath, something I do is I put my arms up like this, try to stand straight up and take some deep breaths. And if I start to feel sick to my stomach, uh, I mean, you can stop, obviously, but I try to make my mouth as small as possible and blow out, kind of like I'm blowing through a straw. And I imagine the sickness of my stomach being blown through that straw. That's something that helps you. Maybe it'll help you. So, relaxed, all right? As we're gonna be doing our motions, throwing our punches, hands are open. All right, arms are not tensed. Well, knees are bent, but we're not tensing our legs. We're keeping them loose as we're moving around. And even as we throw the punch, the shoulder is loose, the fist is loose until we get to the end. And as it comes back, as soon as the punch lands, we get loose again as it comes back, okay? Staying relaxed. The great thing about boxing as well is teaching you how to go from being stressed to being relaxed. You throw a combination, you're stressed, and then it's about learning that efficiency and getting relaxed as quickly as possible. And I'm gonna be doing three minutes today. If you're level one just starting out, you're gonna be doing one minute on, one minute off. But just that idea of, okay, I'm on now, I'm tense for a minute, and now I need to relax as much as I can in a minute. And that covers over, that carries over into real life as well for me. If I feel myself getting stressed, I can think back to boxing and those techniques that I learned to just relax as quickly as possible. It's really helped me a lot. Hopefully it helps you too. All right, that's it for the instructional. So we're gonna start out with basic movements. You hopefully learned this in the introduction video in your boxing stance. The key thing to remember is whatever direction you're moving, weight goes on to the other foot. So if I'm moving forward, weight on the back foot as I step forward. You can take very small steps as you're starting out. So if I'm moving forward, weight on the back, step, now as I'm bringing my back foot up the same distance that I stepped, weight on the front, bring up the back like this, okay? Oh, now, for the first minute, and if you're level one, your first minute, we're just gonna concentrate on the feet. We're not gonna worry about keeping our hands up. We don't even have to worry about keeping our chin down. We're gonna be like Deku. We're gonna have Deku arms, we're gonna be completely relaxed as we're doing the movements, okay? We, now that it's, since it's new for us, we wanna only concentrate on one thing at a time, and we're also practicing on keeping that upper body relaxed because even once we have our hands up, there's not much more tension from here than to here. And by keeping them completely unengaged, it kind of helps teach ourselves that, all right? So for basic movement, we're gonna go in kind of like an L shape. I'm gonna take four steps. You can modify that depending on how much space you have to work. You're gonna get in your stance. And if this is easy for you, you can turn this into a conditioning exercise. Everyone should be bending their knees, but if you wanna turn this into a conditioning exercise, you can take your knees and bend them two to three inches more and do the same movements. Keep that going for three minutes. Great way to condition your legs. But if you're level one, I'm gonna say on, off after a minute. Level two, you're gonna be on for two minutes, off for two minutes. Level three, on for three minutes, off for one, which is what I'm gonna be doing. 
me get a drink, and then we're gonna get this party started. You guys are doing great. Oh, and the fun's about to begin. Check it out. I'm gonna start when that beeps. If you can't hear it, I'm gonna say it. Get in your stance. Uh, we're gonna go forward. One, two, three, four. Backwards. One, two, three, four. To the right. One, two, three, four. To the left. Two, three, four. And repeat, okay? Let's go. Let's go. All right, down to my stance. Deck your arms, moving forward. Three, four, moving back. One, two, three, four. To the right. One, two, three, four. To the left. One, two, three, four. You don't have to go at my pace going forward. You can go faster or slower. Going back. I'm going to do this for a minute, then we're going to put our guard up to the right. You can bend those knees more. And keep your upper body relaxed. Moving forward. I like to incorporate head movement during this as well, but you can keep your body a little more straight. Okay. Level one can take a break. Level two and three keep going, but we're gonna put our hands up. So hands up, chin down, same movements. I'm gonna go forward four steps. I'm gonna go back four steps. Keeping those legs engaged, upper body pretty relaxed to the right and to the left. Forward, we got this. We got this level two, level one, you're about ready to come back. Level two, you're about ready to get a break. Level three, we're gonna go to the end, to the right. Make sure we're breathing, in the nose, out the nose, if you can. Good. more seconds. When you're back in level one, you're out level two. All right, level one, come back in. Level two, take a break. Level three, keep going. Got one minute left on this drill. If you want to bend those knees more, you can. Breathe. Hands up, chin down, eyes forward. You see my eyes going up, it's because chat's up there. Your eyes should be straight forward. Weight on the leg that's not moving, okay? Balls of the feet, nice solid stance. You can stop and check your stance if you need to, like we did in the intro. Try to keep moving, we're almost done. You've got 15 seconds, you got this. You got this. Forward, back, left and right. Five seconds, then we get a break. Everybody gets a break. Yeah, awesome. Woo, all right. Kick it out, take a drink. Use that minute to relax. Next round, we're not gonna be stepping. You can step if you feel up to it, but we're just gonna be concentrating on that jab, all right? If you're level one, take three or four breaths in between. Really focus on that technique. Reset, throw it again. But if you feel like you're level two or three, you can, you can do them more often. You can put head movement in, you can change the levels. So many things you can do with a jab. Some of my jab days, I just throw a thousand jabs. So many different ways to do it. Remember, we're gonna step forward with the left, take it back. We're gonna get started in three seconds here. We're gonna go through, okay. So, in our stance, right? 
Left foot goes forward slightly. It's called a drop step because we're dropping our height, putting power behind the jab. The jab is loose and it is turning. This elbow is coming up, protecting the side of the face and we have spiral power in that punch. You can stick your fingers out. You're hitting with those two knuckles, the front two knuckles. Throw those jabs. Should come back as quick as it goes out. Don't go at my pace, go at your pace. Breathe. Breathing with your mouth as tight as you can. Just a hiss of air on each punch. Breathing in with the nose. All right, level one, you can take a break. I should have set it for a minute. We'll do that for the next round. Great job, guys. You can take steps in between if you want to, or you can just focus on the technique. You can never practice jab the jab enough, no matter what level you are. Just keep those hands up, chin down. Don't lean forward. You are level uh, upright over your waist, okay? Even though my chin's down, I'm not leaning forward. Level two, about time for a break. Level one, you're gonna come back in. 10 seconds. Great job. All right, level one, back in. Level two, take a break. Level three, go to the end. To the bell. We're breathing. Follow the foot, we're not on our tiptoes. Weights on the back leg as the front foot travels, okay? Practice that movement. Take it as slow as you need. 30 seconds. Awesome. How are we doing? You still with me? We're gonna go to the end, even if you're just standing there. Don't sit down, don't give up. 10 seconds. Level two, enjoy that break. Three seconds, get some in there. Awesome, shake it out, take a drink. Don't worry AT, the breathing is one of the hardest things to do. It's not gonna come today. It's something you gotta practice over time. It doesn't come naturally. You think it would. We breathe all the time every day. In through the nose. You can breathe out with the nose as well. But um, I find it better with the mouth. You have more control. Enjoy that rest. Uh, what's next? <laughs> I set these back up in July before I dislocated my knee. All right, next one we're just gonna practice the straight right. So remember, that is your rear punch. I should say straight rear punch because you might be a southpaw. But whatever your rear one is, you're gonna drive in with that foot, putting the hip and the shoulder forwards, and get your back straight punch. Then resetting the foot, all right? We got this. Throw those straight rights. your knees are bent, your stance is wide, if you're feeling off-centered, it's because your back leg is too narrow, all right? You can have a stance like this, but then you have to step out when you throw the cross. But with our basic stance like this, we can just pivot that foot, but your foot might not be wide enough if you're feeling off balance. If something feels wrong 80% of the time, it's a problem below the waist. All right, squish the bug, hand relaxed till the very end. All right, level one, get ready to take that break. Got to change the clock again, oh no. All right, go. 
Level two, keep going. Level three, keep going. You don't have to take steps. You can just stand. I get too excited. Focus on the form, focus on staying relaxed, focus on the breathing. All right, we're testing our body, seeing what it can handle. We can adjust in future workouts, but if this is your first one, take it easy. You're doing great. All right, level two should be taking a break. I missed it, level one should be back. I will change the timer after this. Stay loose. You can shift that balance back and forth if you want as well. Really feel the balance, feel the stance, feel loose. All right, level one back in. Level two, take a break. Level three, keep going to the end. We're gonna combine these next round, but for now, just focus on that straight rear punch, whatever it is. I'll do it southpaw. I like to train at least like 20% southpaw. Set that front foot, pivot the back. Hips and shoulders follow. All right, we're almost done. 20 seconds. I'm sweating. But I sweat easy. We're almost there. 10 seconds. Awesome. All right, gotta change that timer. <laughs> Before I forget, because I will. There we go. Now I'll be able to keep better track. Shake it out, take a drink. Enjoy that approximately minute break. Come on, set, there we go. Next up is the one, two. So we are going to combine those two. When we're starting out, we're doing it slow. One step out with the lead and then back. Once we're back and set, we then throw the cross. Now once we start to get a little more advanced, this becomes a combo. So it's not two separate distinct punches, but it's like one movement. Right, as this jab is coming back, the cross is coming out, right? So when we're starting, it will probably look like this. And that's okay. But eventually, we wanna get it a little more like this. That's the goal. But today, jab, set, cross, set. Jab, set, cross, set. All right, only one foot is gonna be moving at a time. So with the jab, it's the lead foot taking that step. That foot has to be back and planted before we do the rear foot with the pivot. All right, let's get this started when the bell goes. You guys are doing great. There's not that many rounds left today. We got abs, we got critical hit, we got the cool down. You got this. All right, one, two. One, two. Take three or four breaths in between if you're just starting out, okay? You got this. You don't have to take steps. I'm just showing you different angles. You can stay in place. Just step with that lead foot. I'll do it southpaw. You don't wanna switch stances like that. I'll show you the switch at some point. That's back in the karate switch. Used to do a lot of karate. All right, jab, cross. Are we, is our upper body relaxed until we're punching? How are we doing? Hands up, chin down, eyes forward. Switch back. All right, level one, about ready for your break. That's it, break. Level two and three, keep going. 
One, two. If you start to feel more comfortable, you can add some speed to it. You can add power as well. But don't forget the breath. You got this. Thirty seconds for level two. You're coming back in if you're level one. How you doing? You still going? Believe it. Ah. You can throw them out there and check your form as well. Make sure your wrist is aligned, getting that rotation. The jab you can also leave out there, leave in your opponent's face, and then like come down low and get them. You don't want to leave it out there too long. Though. All right. Uh, level one back in, level two take a break. Jab, cross. Jab, straight right. The cross is a little different, but everybody calls it the cross. I'm gonna switch stances. So to you this way. Take breaths in between, reset. Focus on that technique, focus on that breathing. If your stance feels funky, you probably need to widen it out and bend your knees. Keep those knees bent. That's really the key. You got this. If you're struggling today, that is absolutely fine. You're going to be better tomorrow. You're not going to get it today. Everything's not going to be perfect. All of mine haven't been perfect. All right, uh, level two stop, level one back in. There's everyone out. I've lost track, oh no, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> like I said, we're all making mistakes. And if I messed up and it's rest time, just take an extra rest. But I'm gonna keep going, because I wanna get stronger. I wanna get faster. I wanna push myself. You can too. All right, 15 seconds, and we're all resting. Having fun, having fun. Almost there. All right, shake it out, get a drink. Take that minute, rest. Deep breath, standing up straight. This is the last set of this boxing we have. Then we're gonna do some drills. I'm gonna teach them to you and then we're gonna do them in a critical hit method. 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Natural 20. All right, so this last one, we're combining everything that we've learned together. We're gonna to do those four steps. At the end of that fourth step, we jab, we cross, and then we go back. And then we go right and left. Okay, make sure that you're planted before you throw that jab, all right? Don't try to throw it off this movement steps at this point, okay? Make sure you're planted first and then do it. Almost there, let's go. Woo! Going forward, hands up, chin down. One, two, three, four, jab. Straight right, back, one, two, Three, four, jab. Straight right, bend those knees. To the right, one, two, three. Wait on the left step with the right. Set, jab, straight right. Pivot that back foot. Get those hips and shoulders involved as we're going to the left four times. Throwing a jab, throwing a cross. Awesome. Forward, you're halfway to your break, level one. You got this. Jab, cross. Going back, one, two, three, four, jab, cross, right, three, four, jab, cross, left, two, three, four, jab, cross, take it as slow as you need. You can do it faster, you can do it faster. 
or you can go very slow, feeling that balance. Level one, take a break. Level two and three, keep going. I'm gonna go to the right. Two, three, four, jab, cross to the left. One, two, three, four, jab, cross, forward. One, two, three, four. Are we breathing? Are we still going? Back, three, four, come on. This is the last boxing round. Give it all you got. Right. Left. Forward. You get that fire in me. I have trouble slowing down. I just want to go. Today is about technique. It's about being relaxed. All right, level one back in, level two take a break. Level three keep going, we got one minute left. One minute left, jab, cross, taking those steps, four steps. Go whichever way you want. I completely lost track of where we are. Just four steps, jab, cross. Come on, 40 seconds to go. We got this, we got this, we got this. Bend those knees. If you want to bend them extra, you can. Really give that workout in those last 30 seconds. Or just keep them bent two to three inches. Good. Almost there. Only 15 seconds to go. Do anything for 15 seconds. You got this. Five seconds. Don't give up. Come on. All right, amazing, amazing job. Get a drink, you earned it. I'm gonna towel off. I'm gonna teach you some drills. And then we're gonna do those drills in our critical hit segment. I have not been, I have not been changing my pictures. I am a fool. We are already here. Bam. Jake set all this stuff up for me, and I have not been using it. And remember, if you want to improve, waiting until next Saturday isn't going to cut it. Watch this video again, go through it, find another boxing video on YouTube, there's tons of them. I really like the channel Precision, Precision Striking. He's got a lot of great stuff. He's been my virtual coach for a year now. I have his uh, channel linked in the featured channels below. All right, let's reset this. We're gonna cool down just a little bit as I explain what we're gonna do. So we've got the pivot drill and we've got the, um, uh, the, the rock backs. So for the pivot drill, this is really good to train us in order to um, Make sure one foot is planted as the other foot pivots. We're gonna be in a stance that is facing forward. It's gonna be a little wider than shoulder width apart. And we're gonna be punching to one side. So for example, if I'm punching to the right, right hand is gonna cross my body this way. My right foot is gonna do that pivot like we do with the straight right. But I'm not punching forward, I'm punching this way, all right? As it comes back, this right foot sets down. Now I'm gonna do it on the left. Left foot pivots, left punch across the body, comes back like this, okay? We're gonna do this for 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Once you get better at it, you can really start doing this at speed. Turn it into a conditioning drill. But what's important now is to Drill it into your mind that if one foot is moving, the other foot is planted, okay? So take it as slow as you need. We're gonna do four rounds. I think we can do four rounds. Um, so you can go a little faster every time or you can keep it the same pace. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do what are called rock backs, which I'll get to after this. Uh, and then I think it's just abs and cool down and we're done. We've done it. We've started our new year resolution. I'll answer questions and stuff afterwards as well. Oh, 
there's something that was confusing. All right, so I call this the pivot drill, and we're gonna start when that goes. Nope, not a minute. Hee -hee. I wouldn't do that to you. Not yet. 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, natural 20. We're all gonna roll natural 20s. We're gonna nail this. We're gonna go to the finish line. We got this. All right, feet straight, a little wider than shoulder width apart. I'm starting with the right. Right and back, left and back. Punch is going across. Same arm you're punching with is what your foot is pivoting. You're setting it back. I also like to bend my knees as well. Like this. Okay, shake it out, relax. I'm gonna do it again. We're gonna do that three times. I'm gonna speed it up on the next one. Pay attention to your feet. Your hands aren't as important. I'm gonna pick up the pace. You can as well if you feel it. Feel that balance? Your knees aren't bent enough if you feel like you're gonna fall over. Relax. I'm gonna slow it down again so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you should look to the side. Look where you're punching. I mean, you don't have to. You can also look forward. If you have a mirror or something, go. Yeah, I usually look where I'm bunching, but if you have a mirror, it's great to do this in front of so you can check yourself. Slowing down. And look, my hand is open until the very end. Relax. I think that's three. I think we got one more. Then we're gonna do rock backs, abs, cool down, done. We're leveling up. Last time. Let's go. Try to do it as fast as you've done so far. That's still comfortable. You've got good technique. Breathing. Foot sets if it's not moving. Set, pivot, other. Good, awesome. All right, shake it out, take a drink. We got rock backs. That's gonna be it for the critical hit segment today. We might do other stuff in future workouts. Uh, jump rope is a good one. We can do sprints, all kind of stuff we can do. These are good uh, technique reinforcers as well as conditioners. All right, so for rock backs, we are in a wide stance this time. Feet as straightforward as is comfortable. If they're pointing out a little bit, that's okay, but try to keep them as straight as you can. And this is teaching us to move a foot as we punch with a foot, as we punch with that hand. So the beginner level of this is if I'm throwing the right and I wanna throw it fully extended, I wanna get that rotation, I wanna make that proper fist, okay? but it's all about full extension on these. As I do that, I tap with the right foot, right? So I'm not, we're not sumo, it's a very light tap. And as we do the left, we're tapping with the left, right? So it looks like this. This is the beginner level. It's just reinforcing that idea that every time something's happening up top, something's happening below. We're matching the feet, okay? Now, if you wanna do the more advanced version of that, instead of tapping, you can do like a, a hop, right? So, like this. Up on the balls of your feet. When you throw the right, you're going, you're hopping to the right, left, you're hopping to the left, right? So this is a lot harder work, but a lot better conditioning. If you're just starting out, 
just do the taps. All right, I'm gonna do four rounds of this. I'm gonna do abs, and then cool down. All right, look at our song list here. That's not what I want. Start this over. Okay, cool. Sorry about the stream close up. Okay, here we go. Rock backs. You're just starting out, just tap. Full extension. We're almost there. Give it all you got to the end. You can go slower than me, but replicate the movements. Also do the hop. Two seconds. Shake it out. Three more. Three more of this. We got this. Oh. You ready? In your stance. Tap those feet. Breathe. You can really get going. Last round. Think. Maybe two more? Maybe chat does. Regardless, we gotta do it at least one more time. Awesome. Those were two. Okay. We got we got another. Last one. Do it this way. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, I think that's it. A bit of ch delay in chat. Might be 20 seconds. It should be good. I think. Finally, abs. You got a towel, put it down. You got a yoga mat, put it down. Uh, I think this is probably the best. Tilt the camera down. Like so. Should work. Get a drink. Shake it out. I explain what we're gonna do. I gotta move my mic. Don't wanna lay on it. All right. We're almost there. We do this, we are at the end. We have done a hard thing. We should feel proud of ourselves. Maybe we can do it again tomorrow. But if not, try to do it at least one more time during the week uh, until the next stream next Saturday. All right, so I'm gonna show you the abs first before we do them. Let me turn off the timer. We're gonna do a number of reps. So we don't have to worry about the time. All right, so the first ones are called reach ups. So back is flat against the floor. Feet are flat, knees are bent like this. 
and we're basically punching into the air. So it's a crunch motion where we're bringing our shoulders up and we do right arm, left arm, like this, okay? We're gonna do that, let's do it 20 times and see how that feels. So one, two, three, so on and so forth. If you can't do it 20, do as many as you can. Are we ready? All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you can only do it 10, that's fine. Eight, nine, 10. In fact, you should probably stop after 10 since it's our first time. We're going to do another set, but we're going to rest for a bit. Do it again. Take some deep breaths. And let's go again. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Do that two more times. And that's all we're going to do for abs today. I don't want to overload you on your first time. Maybe you already feel overloaded, and that's okay. Let's do three. Let's go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Here we go. Oh no. Chibi's wrong. I believe it. Bam! Just in time for the last one. Yes, don't um, lift with your abs. Don't do it with your neck. Try to lift with the abs. Last time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. We did it. Stay down. We're going to do the cool down. Damn. All right. Uh, let me face the camera. I think. If you stretch and relax. While we're stretching, if you've got questions, let me try to find, um, let me go ahead and mute the music as we're cooling down, yeah. Okay. Especially as I get older, the cool down, the most important part of the workout because I've got to stretch those muscles. Let me scoot up a little bit. Get a little closer. All right, so I am setting with my feet spread apart, and I'm gonna try to reach both my toes. If you can't reach your toes, that's okay. Feel the stretch, take in some deep breaths. Great job, everyone. If you made it to the end, that's great. If not, that's okay too. You can make it a little further next time. Just about improving. We're gonna to reach to the left now. Ah, feel that stretch. Take deep breaths. Lowering our heart rate. Bringing us back into the real world. If you guys have ideas to the right of videos that you would like me to make, Things you would like me to cover, whether it's from boxing, from mental health, 
just let me know in the comments below. Good. Okay, this one's a little more complicated. So we take our feet, and we put them together like this. We're gonna take our right leg over top of our left, so it's sitting flat like this. Then we're gonna take our left arm, and we're gonna take it to our right on this side. We're gonna press our elbow into this leg. This arm is behind us, and we twist and look backwards, like so. Stretches my upper back, stretches my glutes. You might get some cracking here. A stretch from back in my karate days. Feels really good on my upper back. All right, let's do the other side. So feet both forward. This time we are going to take the left leg over the right. Right arm to the left side, elbow in, look back and twist. Breathe in deep. Don't forget to give, you, give yourself XP. Uh, this workout took, I don't know, about an hour, maybe closer to 90 minutes. So give yourself that much XP Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna do Cobra. So we lay face down. We put our hands in front of us like this. We bend our back like so. Another good one for the upper back, like this. So make sure you head over to rollpunches.com and check out the campaign journal where you can keep track of your XP, or you can keep track of it in your phone, however you want. Okay, I'm gonna go up into downward dog. So I push myself up like this, try to get my feet flat on the floor, stretching the Achilles and the hamstring, like so. I think I'm in camera. Good. But yeah, giving myself small rewards over time rather than just when I accomplish something, helps keep me motivated to go forward. All right, bend the left leg, stretch the right. Deep breaths. So if you don't want to use the journal, that's okay, but it's a good thing to try if you find that you have trouble sticking with something. All right, bend the right, stretch the left. In a second, we're going to come up slow, getting that stretch. Okay, good. Both feet down, walk yourself up if you can, and come up slow. If not, just come up however you can safely. Let me redo the camera. Okay, now we are standing up. All right, we're going to stretch the rotator cuff. We're going to reach with our left to the side, our right arm is going to cup it in the bicep like this, and you're going to pull, stretching. <sighs> Great job, guys. We're almost done. It's a good way to start your Saturday. Good way to start the new year. All right, switch. Exercising is great to get you in shape, but also just for mental health. It's great for burning stress. It really helps me. Something I got to do every day. All right, I'm going to stretch the neck now. I'm going to tilt my neck to the left, and I'm going to reach down to the floor with my right arm, stretching this. Breathing in deep. I'm going to be back here again next Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. We're going to continue to build on this beginner boxing. All right, let's get our head to the right, reach down with the left. We're going to add more techniques slowly over time. We're going to increase our endurance and our capacity to go faster and harder. So 
You good? Relax. Oof. Oof. I'm trying to remember all the stretches. If you have any particular problem areas, make sure you stretch that as well. So my knee is a bit of a problem. So I, you can support yourself and do this stretch as well as you can. If you can't grab like this, you can use the resistance band and hold on to that instead. But just find a stretch that works for you for whatever your problem area might be. It's going to be the last one. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. I should have said that throughout the entire workout, but water is key. And if you feel like you're going to be sore, uh, protein and potassium are a killer combination, along with lots and lots of water. <sighs> All right. Great job, everyone. We did it. Workout complete. There's going to be more workouts, more instructionals mental health videos on this channel, so make sure you are subscribing. We're going to be back here live again Saturday, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. If you have questions, put them below. Uh, you should be able to comment on the VOD of this. And let me know what you thought. Let me know what I can improve, uh, audio levels, anything like that. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so proud of you for doing this. It's not easy to start something new. Boxing can be scary, and you guys did it. So try to do something again tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Check out rollpunching.com for more good stuff. Uh, yeah, we can do questions. We, we could have had questions during um, the cool down, but if anyone has any, oh, now is the time. Got any stretches for the lower back? Uh, I have a couple. So this one is called the Fred Stretch after my sensei, I find it's good for the lower back. So feet are shoulder width apart. Hands start out in front like this and they're gonna come back and you're gonna grasp them behind you. You're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna bend backwards, keeping your hands as upright as possible. You know it's right when you're shaking. <sighs> Hold this for maybe about 30 seconds if you can. And then keeping your hands up, you're going to straighten your legs and you're going to bend forward like this. We're going to keep that for about 30 seconds or so. And then you're slowly, one vertebrae at a time, you're going to keep your hands up, you're going to come up like this. I love that as a back stretch. Also, these that we did before, are good for back stretching as well. Another good lower back stretch, I think it's called the prayer pose or the child pose. When you're down like this and you're setting back while also pulling yourself forward, that helps on my back as well. Oh, I can't do high impact for my knee, so no twisting and definitely no jumping. What can I do instead? Well, when it comes to the twisting, um, you're not putting a ton of weight on that foot. So if it hurts, you might be putting too much weight on it. But if that's not an option, what you can do instead is instead of Pivoting like this, you can step and get that hip motion instead. So instead of doing this pivot, you can step out if this is better for your knee. Like so. It's really just about getting this stuff involved. You can also do some of that motion even without rotating the foot. Just keeping the foot straight forward like this doing that, if that's any better for you. I am ready to watch my hero. Oh, I should make a video going over the journal. 
Uh, I feel like it explains itself fairly well, but a video wouldn't hurt, and I can maybe take questions. Uh, planning on doing competition in boxing. I thought about it. Uh, if, like, dealing with anxiety growing up, uh, if, if anxiety was the thing stopping me from doing it, then I wanted to do it because I wanted to like push past that and to grow and not take, let anxiety take over. So doing competition boxing is a scary thing. Uh, I've done like sparring and stuff in karate before. So I kind of want to do it for that reason. Um, and I, mean, I just like competition as well. It's really going to depend on how well the knee continues to recover, I think. But I definitely do plan on getting into a gym, doing some sparring, stuff like that. And maybe competition is in the future. It's certainly something I'm interested in. And yeah, this doesn't have to be the only thing that you're doing. Uh, if you enjoy other things, swimming, lifting weights, um, doesn't just have to be boxing. But boxing is great because it's a full body workout. And I'll probably throw in some weightlifting stuff on this channel as well, and more endurance stuff. Uh, Jancy made the chibi drawings, so thank you to her. She also put the logo together for me. It would be fun to make a cheer list of baddies from shows and we fight one each round. That could be fun. I'm sorry to hear you had depression. That's rough. I've been through that. I want to make some videos talking about that as well. Ah, oh, I feel good, but I also just feel warmed up. <laughs> Might have to work out after this. All right, I think that'll do it for today. If you got more questions, put them in the VOD. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And a happy new year. Tomorrow's January 1st for me. So thanks, guys. See you next time.